Hi there. Can you tell me who you are? Yes, my name is Dennis Toft. I'm a member of the firm of Chiesa, Shahinian, and John Tomasi. Dennis, you were one of the business um, advocates who were here today testifying against the bill, which would stop DEP from uh, going ahead and adopting the proposed uh, flood hazard rules. And uh, uh, you were making a particular argument about uh, how the rules, that as, as you've seen them so far as they're coming along, would be protective of the environment and help with uh, certain remediation work. Could you expand on that a little bit? Yes, thanks. Uh, the way the current rules work, they apply to all sites regardless of whether they're previously disturbed, whether they're in cities, whether they require site remediation. And the difficulty with the rules, as DEP recognized, is that when you apply an absolute to every site, sometimes things get lost, as a result of which people were constantly needing to go get hardship waivers and go through other regulatory steps that these rules would correct. And in fact, by increasing the availability of mitigation options, they would encourage redevelopment on sites which don't currently have stormwater controls, so stormwater controls would get installed. You would have more mitigation in riparian zones be because you'd have more options to do that. You don't necessarily want to plant trees on a contaminated property, but if these rules are adopted, you have more options to plant trees where they would do the most good in protecting streams. So in fact, in our view, the rules are beneficial in that they will enhance environmental quality, not degrade environmental quality. 